All right, guys, what's up? Universal Mastery. So, what I do on my channel is I break down the occult sciences, the laws of the universe, and I break them down to an extremely very practical level so that you can use them and apply them in your day-to-day -day life and get real actual results, okay? Now, what I'm gonna be talking about in today's video is what I mentioned in my previous video, which was the true nature of demons. What I'm gonna be talking about in today's video is the true nature of angels. So if you wanna know a little bit more about what I'm talking about, which I definitely think you do, stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I wanna say is definitely check out my Patreon. On my Patreon, I have exclusive content and I post exclusive content weekly and you gain access to be able to talk to me um, whenever you want with whatever questions that you have. Um, so half of the videos on my Patreon are gonna be geared towards real spiritual practices that I perform myself and I tell you how to, the, how to perform them as well. So you're seeing a video of me do the practice myself and explaining how to do it successfully. So half of the videos are going to be geared towards things in that nature, the, the actual practices getting your hands and feet wet. Then the other half is going to be geared towards educational entertainment, which is very similar to this video. It's entertaining, but you're also getting a lot of value from it. Okay, so where you're going to be able to find this exclusive content in my Patreon is when you click the description of this video, there's going to be a drop down. It's going to be that very first link at the top. It literally says my Patreon right next to it. Okay, in order to gain access, this is important, in order to gain access to the exclusive content, you have to at least be a tier two member or up. Okay, so in order to be a tier two, it literally costs $9.95 a month, and that's a reoccurring payment. So if you do the math, that's literally less than a dollar a day, so there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be able, be able to afford that with the value that I have on there. Okay, so... Once again, as you go up in tiers, the benefits go up as well. So I'll let you check that out for yourself. And I'd like to give a special shout out to the top tier members already. Their names are going to be mentioned in the parentheses below. So huge shout out to you guys. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm going to go right into this video now. Okay, so here's the thing. The true nature of angels. Okay, so we previously just did the true nature of demons. This is something that a lot of people don't, don't know. And this actually can trap a lot of people because they don't know this they don't know this uh, knowledge or this information that I'm about to share with you. But the true nature of angels is that they're really good, get this, they're really good at adding to your life. They're really good at adding to the physical plane specifically, very good at adding things, okay? adding things to you like do you want a girlfriend they can bring that to you very easily do you want a boyfriend uh, vice versa do you want a boyfriend they can bring that to you do you want a new car what kind of car do you want do you want this they're really good at adding things okay but this is what they take in return they take from the soul to to use that energy to add to the physical plane okay and a lot of people don't understand that, but a lot of people know and have a sense that angels are real and they like angels because they bring good things to your life. But remember, they take from the soul, okay? So right there, you should have a pretty, a pretty clear understanding of why it would be important to work with angels and demons because if you saw the previous video they add to the demons add to your soul and now what you're what you're picking up on is that the angels will take from your soul and remember the demons are good at removing things from your physical reality and uh, about yourself and the angels are really good about adding things to your physical reality and essentially to yourself um so but remember they take from the soul so a great example of somebody um, who only works with angels and from somebody that comes from a perspective of, oh no, I don't work with demons, they're, they're evil or that's the devil and this is what, you know, essentially I've been indoctrinated to believe so I stay away from that. That is a, a great example of somebody like that who has an opening to angels where they feel like, oh, you know, I like angels but I stay away from demons, right? Which is an ignorant understanding in the very first place because of what I'm sharing with you but a great example of somebody who only is open to working with angels, like a, a, a light worker, you could say, is somebody who ends up achieving a lot of physical things that they wanted, but is not satisfied with any of the things that they've achieved. 
like someone that keeps on needing more in the physical reality and has this massive void in their soul because they're closed off to once again demons which have huge governance over earth in general meaning they're everywhere so you know life is just harder when you when you view them as enemies because they're they're going to be sucking your male principle away and then if you're only working with angels or you're only open to angels then they're going to be taking energy from or they're going to you you could say that they're going to be taking energy from your soul to manifest your physical reality um so you can imagine how unsatisfied a person would be with a bunch of nice things but feels like they have no soul so they feel like there's this major void and i want you to think right now how many times have you heard people say that where they're like i just don't feel satisfied like they're like i have everything i i, I can get whatever i want physically but it there's something that i'm not able to find soul searching and that is going to be done by working with the left hand path and this is what is one of the big traps of society and the people that don't want you to know this which i'm not going to go into too much detail on because i'll share that uh, at another time but that's one of the big traps of society and being able to control people is have them not understand these principles about what i'm talking about with angels and demons and then specifically indoctrinate people to be afraid of demons so that their souls get drained and that energy gets brought back to them because they're operating at a much higher you could say level of power um which is not as powerful as me or other people that are like me that are walking the true left hand path that want to bring balance to earth at the same time and are not afraid to destroy people that are working against that so these people that are in power, I'm not afraid of them and I've done damage to them and they, they can't stop me. And I know other people like that as well that understand the same principle. So, you know, it is what it is. And, and, and at the end of the day, it's, it's, you got to understand nature because remember like nature is completely governed by the feminine, um, this, this, this very strong feminine current, which once again comes to a very dark feminine current and nature itself you know, it's known as mother nature needs to go through its cycles and its processes to evolve and to go in the direction that it needs to go. And it will always do that. There are certain laws that you can't break. And there are certain people that have developed very high levels of power that think they're powerful enough where they can break these laws and control, you know, society and humanity for forever, which in reality only works for a certain amount of time. And then it fizzles out. And then you start to see, you know, what's going on in our society today. A lot of people are getting exposed and a lot of people, um, a lot of people think they have more power than they actually do. When in reality, you have to align with source to a, a very, you know, you could say a, a high degree, but you also want to realize that it's in you as well. So you can create what you want according to the laws that are actually governing everything. So I don't use my magic. I have high levels of power, but I don't use my magic to control people and and specifically try to harm people that I don't feel like need to be harmed. I do what I need to do to bring energy to myself and to bring awareness to myself, understanding wisdom and you know, just to create my reality to make sure everything is the way that I want it, that this is my kingdom and make sure you know, making sure that my loved ones are protected and taken care of and all these things. This this is what I'm interested in. And this is truly for someone that's actually walking the left-hand path, this is what you should be interested in too. Not getting too, you know, too much to your head and thinking that you need to be controlling everybody, especially if these people are, you know, innocent, like they're cattle, right? Like the sheep, right? Just completely unaware. Like, why would you do that? It, it, I mean, it makes sense. You know, they're doing it because they want power and it's been working for a while. But now look at what's what's happening. People are getting exposed and it's all coming full circle because they're not aligning with that deeper understanding that everything needs to evolve and every cause has an effect. And if you're trying to restrain people for that long, the effect of that is going to come right back to you eventually at some point in time. Okay, so you want to be, you know, this is where wisdom comes in and this is where understanding and true knowledge comes in and you should gain that awareness and understanding and knowledge from crossing the abyss because you dissolve, your ego dissolves into source at that point and this is where you gain that knowledge. So it tells me that maybe a lot of these people in these high positions that think they have so much power just because they have some knowledge, they're lacking that experience of crossing the abyss because their egos are still running them, which is uh, parasitic in its nature 
okay? So I know that was a little bit deep, but this is what's, you know, this is real and this is what's really going on. And you don't need to believe me, but it, you know, it is what it is. You know, you believe what you want to believe. Um, so this is the thing. So the true nature of angels is once again, they will take from your soul, but they will manifest in your physical. Okay. So this is, you know, just to give another example, you see a lot of light workers who do tons of sh regular chakra empowerments that only work with angels and stay away from demons. And if you really pay attention, a lot of them are burnt out and a lot of them are not happy. Um, a lot of them don't really last too long. Um, and they're lacking, I mean, it's because they're lacking a sense of soul and a, they're lacking a sense of satisfaction because they're choosing not to balance out their energy by going to the other side of working with that darker current, which is important. You need to work with the light and the darker current. The demons and angels are two completely different species and they play two completely different roles to the human the beings that we are to our development. And it is important to understand that. Like, why would you not want to be balanced? You don't want to walk the left-hand path and be afraid of angels or not work with angels either. It's the same thing. You want to balance it. You want to work with both. But don't fall into the trap of being a light worker and staying away from demons and thinking they're evil because you're going to set yourself up for a lot of failure because once again, demons are going to be sucking energy from you. And then angels are going to be take, you're going to be working with angels and they're going to be taking energy from your soul to manifest your reality. And you're going to be very, a lot of times very depressed and just not happy with life. You're going to have low, um, low amounts of energy. And you're, you, once again, you're just going to feel like there's a void and you're going to feel like you're going to need to do soul searching. And you know, I mean, if that's the life you want to live, go ahead, but that's their nature. And they're really good at that. Now I want to make this clear. Just because I'm telling you the true nature of angels and demons, does that mean that they can't do other things as well? Like, can, you know, like, can angels, like, you're saying that angels can, you know, by their nature, that they can manifest things outside of you, but they take from your soul. So then how would an angel be able to heal you? Well, it's different, you know, it's different properties. So you can use an angel to heal you by causing um, maybe a certain, and this depends on your, um, you could say your relationship with that spirit. Um, you know, once you do the invocations, your power level, you know, your power goes, you know, goes up regardless whether it's angelic or demonic, your power will eventually rise to certain levels and you will have, um, somewhat of an authority with that spirit. So you have more power to have that spirit work for you and work in your life according to how you want it to work. Now, this is definitely more so a left-hand perspective, but, you know, you can do this as a light worker as well. Just most people don't, but you, you know, for example, like if you need an angel to heal you, that angel can manifest a certain situation in your physical reality that causes you to be healed. So for example, let's say that you have a really stiff back or let's say that you're, you're really tense and something's going on. Some, you may pull, pull the muscle maybe. Well, that angel can manifest depending on which angel you're working with. They all have different attributes. So there's some that you would want to more so work with depending on what it is that you need. But that angel can manifest a situation where maybe it brings a certain level of money into your life where you can go to a yoga class and start doing yoga and start working on stretching your muscles so it's not so tense, things in that nature. Now, with a demon, how like how would a demon be able to heal you since you say they take away by their nature from the physical and add to the soul? Well, a good way to, to use a demon for that would be like if you have, you know, you have that physical pain in your back, you can literally tell that demon to start removing that pain from your back, like start healing the inside of your body, um, removing that pain, removing that tension. And that, and that's a very, you know, it's, it's an energetic thing that's going on and it's hard to explain because, you know, this is where you have to have that, that higher understanding that spirits really do exist and they really do move around you and they can actually do things like that. Um, you know, and maybe it will take some form of, uh, you could say like visualization or some form of practice to further that process. But that's something that you'll figure out depending on what your issue is and how you work with the spirit. But also I want to make this clear. That doesn't mean that, you know, for example, you know, I'm, I'm telling you the nature of these spirits. That doesn't mean that a demon can't add to your physical reality as well. They can, but remember when the, the way they're able to do that, I'm telling you their nature. So by, you could almost say by default, this is what they do. But once, as I said, once you start to do invocations, once you start to come across path working, which is really going to happen when you're walking the left-hand path, it's going to be a lot harder for you on the right-hand path as a light worker. That's all I'm going to say. Um, because the left-hand path is really working with both sides. Okay. And, and we're operating from the middle pillar, which is death, but you get to that from the left hand. 
Okay, so, which is the big indoctrination of, oh, the, the devil and God and demons are bad and all that stuff. That's the big indoctrination. Once you can pass that barrier, you're on, you're on the left-hand path, and then you see balance from, from those paradigms and from that perspective. Then you can walk on both. But essentially what I'm saying is, as you develop your power by doing invocations, by doing certain levels of path working, then you have, once again, more authority over the spirit. So even though it's their nature, that doesn't mean that they can't do other things. Like that doesn't mean that a demon can't bring a physical manifestation in your reality. It can, but by their nature, that's just what they do. So as you develop your power, you can start to use specific demons to do physical things for you. So like, you know, a lot of them are good at attracting the type of person that you want. So if you want to attract women in your life or you want to attract men, a lot of demons can go out and cause that attraction. Um, they can go and they can influence that person to be attracted to you. And then the same thing with angels. Like, you know, if, if you want them to, you know, essentially r remove things from your life, you know, I mean, you know, this is, see, this is an interesting part. I want to make sure that I word this right. That the angels are definitely more so geared towards the physical. So they definitely are going to take from your soul and they're going to add to the physical. So if I wanted to say, Hey, can I use an angel to add to my soul? And, um, you could say, uh, yeah, add to my soul. No, that's not, it's not going to be able to do that. But as you develop a certain level of power, you can have an angel do something physically for you and it doesn't take from your soul. So you can have it do what you need it to do. You know, say you do a invocation or you do a ritual or whatever it is. And you say, Hey, like, can you do this? Like, for example, like Archangel Michael, can you go and can you cause a situation to manifest so that, you know, so that I can create this. Once you develop your power to a certain level, it doesn't take from your soul anymore because your soul isn't like everyone else's soul. You, your soul is now transformed. And once again, this is what you're going to be able to, to do on the left-hand path by creating that connection with your daemon, which is your divine intelligence. And there is a real, um, there is a deep process to doing that. It's not easy. Um, and it's, it's a dark process too. I mean, you have to work with the infernal hierarchies to do that, but your soul transforms and you take ownership over your soul, over your purpose, and you become your daemon and your daemon becomes you. And it's, it is a spirit that operates in the astral. So when you call other spirits, the ignorant person, the person that's not aware that hasn't created that inner connection that hasn't transformed their soul, that angel would take from that to create in the physical reality. But to someone who's done the path working, developed m more power, created this, um, created this connection with their daemon and is no longer the same type of being as most people, literally a different creature or a different being on a spiritual, physical, mental, emotional level on all these levels. It's, it doesn't take from your soul anymore because you've changed yourself to a, to a certain level where it, it can't take that, you know? So that's, you know, this is the art of developing yourself and re you know, gaining power. That's literally what this is all about. You know, whatever path you walk, at the end of the day, you want more power so that you can create the life that you want to live and that you eventually, in that process, you're going to be offering more value to um, to earth and to the world around you. So it's a, it is a win-win situation. So other than that, I think I, I definitely shared enough on this video. So I'm going to leave it there. I definitely think you guys got some value from it. Please feel free to leave some feedback in the comments. I don't see too many people that are talking about this. Um, there are some people that I know that are... Um, you could say very skilled and have a lot of knowledge and have a, you know, a very scientific way of explaining this as well. And if you want to send me a direct message and you, you want me to send you, um, a, to another place where you can study this information, then please feel free and I'll send you, I'll send you this information, um, so that you can look into it from another person's perspective. That's coming from a, a very similar, uh, basis. Um, definitely do that. But other than that, if you like this video, definitely hit the thumbs up. It's going to be right down there. I appreciate it. Then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it because I post videos as often as I can. Okay. And I guarantee that if you hit that notification bell, I will post a video that you need to hear exactly when you need to hear it because that happens a lot. Okay. Um, and then once again, the Patreon is going to be when you click the description, it's going to be that very first link at the top. So click that. It's going to take you to, to the Patreon. Definitely check that out. Uh, a lot of value on there. 
okay? Then go to the second link below, okay? That's gonna take you to the Facebook community. When you click that, there should be a pin post right at the top that says private group. Request to join that. Right now, there's roughly like, roughly 30 people. I wanna get it to 50. Um, once I get it to 50, I'm gonna be posting consistently in that private group, like probably once a day, uh, maybe more. Um, and the content that I have on there is in the form of written and in the form of pictorial quotes. So definitely make sure you go and you request to join that as well. Um, but once again, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day wherever you are and I will see you on the next video. Peace.